everybody, Sarah Grillo. And thank you so much for visiting me. Um, answering a question today from a subscriber. Love the questions, everybody. And by the way, thumbs up this vid if you like it. I am currently studying for the CFA Level 1, looking for some ideas on in-demand services that I can provide if I wanted to open up a private practice utilizing this designation. My interests are in quantitative methods and finance. Thanks. Okay, so, well, that's a great question, actually. How can I essentially become an entrepreneur and have my own business using the concepts that I learned in my CFA program? Um, I would say it... I don't know after level one that there would really be that much of value that you could provide. Level two is where you really get into the intricate concepts of financial statement analysis and I think being able to analyze or put models together um, for stocks or bonds would really be where the value could be reaped for a business. I mean, you have to kind of reverse engineer it. So if I were a small to medium sized business with not adequate support staff on the analytical end, what would I be looking for somebody to do? Well, a lot of times companies are just looking for people with great out of the box original ideas that many of the analysts on Wall Street, because you know, there's a lot of group think on Wall Street. Um, you know, people that can produce models and do valuations and come up with original stock ideas. So that's one area. Now, I'm going to tell you that this can be very hard to get paid for unless you have a certain track record. Because if companies just trusted everybody that thought they could pick stocks, there would be no money left at the end of the day to run the business. So you may have to work out some kind of a commission-only arrangement where you just get paid a clip of whatever the upside is over a certain benchmark or watermark. That would probably be what the arrangements would be at first until you established your, excuse me, your reputation and a performance track record. Um, you could also do, if you had taken level three, you could do consulting services for portfolio management. So for example, putting together model portfolios, researching asset allocations, um, you know, but again, like you would need that like third level, you would need to be familiar with the concepts of, you know, what is an IPS? What is a, the, the market was a fresh and frontier, you know, how do you do analysis on it? How do you optimize a portfolio? And, and now, well, I'm not saying that uh, academic knowledge is necessarily going to be better than any practical knowledge you would have gained on the job, but CFA level three does cover that. So I guess the summary version of it, CFA level one, maybe not as much of value can be gained to the employer, but as you progress on through the other levels, definitely an opportunity to master these concepts, learn them well, and then apply them in several areas such as the ones I described. But I know that that's not all. So if you have questions, everybody, let me know if this sparks your interest. You know, I myself love entrepreneurship and especially for you women. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Thanks, everybody.